He wants to be the next SNL cast member. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he's a contender anymore. What a wild ride it's been. Jake Novak. Who is he? He's everywhere. All over my For You page. Can't avoid him. It started uh, maybe a month ago with people finding him and being like, oh, this is cringe. And that quickly moved to people making jokes out of it. I want to be the next SNL cast member. And here's why I should be a contender. Hi, Lord Mike. You absolutely should be. And if you were, I would watch every week. And now we've come full circle and people are asking to be nicer to Jake Novak. You're still, you're still doing the SNL guy making fun of him? Like you're still doing... <laughs> people want Jake Novak to stay. They want him to come back because Jake Novak has been gone for, I wrote it down, 25 days. 25 days. A boy who posts weekly usually. I've been procrastinating. I've been planning to make this video for a few weeks now, but I did stream on Twitch close to two weeks ago and I watched every single Jake Novak video from start to finish and reacted to all of them. And it took me over an hour. It took up until now for all of those songs to leave my brain. But now I'm making a video and I need to rewatch all of them as I do to talk about it. So I am, um, it's giving me anxiety. That made me feel so gross. A sense of cold went over me and I thought I was going to die. Ugh. I just watched his whole feed. I just watched every video he's posted on TikTok. And I kind of just didn't want to live anymore for a moment. But that was a horrible, horrible experience. And I didn't enjoy a second of it. I'm prepared. I'm ready. And my mindset has changed since I actually streamed too. So it might be better that I've waited because I'm, I'm within that camp of, I want Jake Novak to come back. I don't want him to stay gone. So with that, We'll start with the video that really started it all, his publicity, his fame, everything we know, everything we've seen so far. We'll start from the beginning. The SNL song. I want to be the next SNL cast member, and here's why I should be a contender. Hi, Lord Michaels, I'm Jake Novak, and I know that you're feeling the heat because your roster lost Kate Kyle 80 MP. That means you got an open seat, and I feel loud to be feeling it because when it comes... See weekly music videos on my jam, bruh I'm a rapid rhyming hammy nerd like Lin-Manuel Miranda Mixed with Sammy Berg, but haven't you heard? I'm more than a rapper, I'm an actor too So here's a couple of nice guys getting their jackets After you, after you, after you <coughs> After you! After you've seen that scene I mean, I'm in, right? But I've been sitting on the ringer In addition to the spitting, I'm a hell of a singer I could be bouncing out on Broadway But I'm running for 30 Rock I don't even know where to fucking start with this one. This was my introduction to Jake Novak. I saw this, and as soon as I got through the first 10 seconds of, I want to be the next SNL cast member, I was like, mm, Maybe not. But I didn't expect it to go where it went. That video is sitting at a cool 3.3 million views. The amount of people talking about Jake Novak and the amount of videos I've seen, I would expect it to be way more. That's surprising. And there's only 668 videos made with this sound, which is also shocking. This video felt like a, a culture reset. This video felt like a new world. The weird thing about this for me is that when was the last time SNL made songs? The Lonely Island did. Andy Samberg made a little song. And even then, when did Andy Samberg leave? It's been like 10 years. It's been a very long time. And SNL has not used that formula or any formula like that really ever. It was just Andy Samberg. Also, little Easter egg. I'm so deep into the Jake Novak lore that the line about Andy Samberg, that was a comment on an older video. And I found that comment. I'll show it here in my reaction to it. Lin-Manuel needs to see this, the flow from this man. 
Andy Samberg meets Lin Manuel. I'm a rapid rhyming hammy nerd like Lin Manuel Miranda mixed with Sammy Berg. But haven't you heard? I'm more than a rapper. Oh my god. I'm so deep in the lore now. I'm so deep into Jake Novak's ass right now, dude. He just was like, that's a bar. I'm gonna use that. You know what? I think he is gonna be the next SNL cast member. He's truly a contender. I just thought that was fun. Did you see the excitement on my face too when I realized? Oh, he definitely doesn't belong on SNL. He's not a funny person. And I don't mean that in a mean way, Jake. I don't... I don't know if I could do this without being mean. I wanted to do this without being mean. This just isn't funny. There's no joke really at all through the whole entire thing. After you, after you, after you, after you, after you. Like the after you thing too is so stupid. There's not much I can say about the SNL video. Everybody said everything about this video. This is the one that's been fucking beaten to death on TikTok. And for the right reasons, this, it's kind of unforgivable, but not as unforgivable as, we'll wait on that one. Next in line, this one's fine. Well, not really. When I was watching it the whole time, I was like, what in the fuck? There's no point to most of these videos. He just makes them. He has an idea and writes a song around the idea. And I guess... He thinks putting words into a song automatically makes it a joke, I suppose, or funny or interesting. I don't know what he's going for. But let's jump right in. It's a, a, a... It's not a rap. There's a comment I found earlier that said it best. This guy says it best. This isn't a rap, it's a nursery rhyme. It was a nursery rhyme about season one. Something strange is happening in Hawkins, Indiana with a group of preteen nerdy dudes who play Dungeons and Dragons. That didn't fucking rhyme! That just fucking kills me. It doesn't sound good. You can make a song that doesn't rhyme, but that just didn't sound good. When Will Byers seems to vanish, biking home after a session, Dustin, Mike, and Lucas search and find a girl who's named Eleven. Why is it about season one? Why'd he make a video about Stranger Things on June 8th? about season one. Then Will's mom Joyce is kinda crazy. Brother Jonathan's a creeper and the cops are led by Hopper who's a really heavy drinker. Nancy Wheeler can't conceal her wish for Steve to get up on her and when he does, the monster makes her bestie Barb a goner. On another note, Elle's like a superhero, basically a wizard and the guys think she's a weirdo but Mike really wants to kiss her. Is her motive clear? No, tension's high. Everybody's getting in fights. Friends don't lie. Will's talking through the lights. Might sound ludicrous but it's true and this is the proof of it. Terry Ives got pregnant with a girl like Sago now. Stranger things are happening. Bad men are attacking and Dustin packing a snack but that's not as important as the demogorgon coming to town he's gonna turn the world upside down why in the flow of it and like the way he i don't know that in part was sloppy it might sound ludicrous but it's true and this is the proof of it terry ives got pregnant with a girl like sago now and what's what what's the point What's the point? Did he just sit down for the first time to watch Stranger Things and he was like, holy shit, this is cool. Why would you make a song about the first season like seven years later? How many years has it been since the first season? Everything he does is just a little bit out of the loop. It's like a little bit outside of understanding what is relevant. You'll see what I mean. I mean, it's a Stranger Things song. I can't, I'm not like mad about it. But like, what the fuck? What's the point? I think maybe he just had that Lego set because I saw recently that, that Lego set is like very rare. And he was like, ooh, I'll make a song about Stranger Things season one because I can use this Lego set as a prop. But it's just not relevant. It doesn't sound good. He's the, he does a little hump thing at one point. To get up on her. Don't like the little hump thing. The little hump thing was kind of strange. Uh, next on my list is. This song goes out to my family. That's me, baby. I just want you all to know You just lost the game Oh yeah, you did You just lost the game Ha ha This song Even as a child, people who were like, Oh, you just lost the game. 
I that's never not been stupid, dude. If you're a person, if someone says to you, you just lost the game and you go, oh, dude, like if you actually have a reaction to that. We got issues. If I can be in creator clash, I dubs, uh, get me and Jake Novak. I want to fight Jake Novak. For charity. People in real life who do this kind of thing. Very specific kind of person. It's a very millennial kind of thing, like a older to mid-level millennial. And I think he's like a year younger than me. Like people in real life who participate in that kind of shit, who act like that in IRL, around me, I don't have the tolerance. It's the kind of people who are like, my face when pizza. Eh. I'm getting a pizza. Those kind of people. The kind of people who say doge and pupper. The kind of people who uh, refer to their husband as hubby. Like people who wear matching shirts to Disney. And people who sit on the same side of the booth and hold hands the whole time. People who sit across from each other and hold hands the whole time. That's even weirder. Fedoras. Milady. That's the vibe that that you just lost the game thing gives. That's what I think of you if you say... You just lost the game. Even as a child, I was too old for that shit. This next one on my list is more of just an honorable mention. Because the sound got taken away. I just like the way he dances in the beginning. Literally like the first four seconds. And that's it. That is my favorite Jake Novak video. Not kidding. That is, I, I, I think I giggled the most at that video. <laughs> and I didn't watch any more of it. I just watched up until that point and realized the sound was off and enjoyed it for what it was. The best Jake Novak video posted. Next up is on the list because in the caption he had to put a disclaimer. Which, first rule in comedy, Jakery, don't put disclaimers in comedy. If you have to put a disclaimer, probably don't make the joke. That should be obvious. That's how I work in comedy. When I make a joke, I think, if I have to explain myself immediately in the caption for people to understand I'm joking, I, I'm, I'm just not going to say it. A joke either has to be too normal or too outrageous. In the middle is not really where a joke can be, so you have to, if you have to explain it, you'll see. He's just... Uh, he... He just jokes about, um, he just talks about anorexia. But not really in any sort of jokey way. He just, I'll just play it. How to transform your body in a week. Oh, I didn't notice that. Even in the beginning, he wrote, but not really underneath. You need a quick change and here's the recipe. How to transform your body in a week. It's simpler than you think. Step number one, stop eating. That's how you transform your body in a week. And that's pretty much all you need. The rest of it is just like him being like, but I only lost two pounds. I'm going to get a pizza. Actually, here, I'll show you the end because the ends of his videos are actually my least favorite part of his videos because usually he can't just end the video. He has to add like one more line to it and it's never, it's never good. But at least I've lost two pounds. Two pounds? That's it? I'm getting a pizza. They're going to love that on SNL. He's got no comedic timing. That's part of it for me, too. His timing for comedy is off. Jake, uh, work on your timing. The caption is, My exclusive musical hack for body transformation. Muscle emoji. Bicycle emoji, I think? It's far away. This video is a joke. Anorexia isn't. If you have to make a disclaimer, then just don't make the joke. I'm at the point on TikTok where I can kind of, I don't say anything crazy. I'm literally about to come. But the things I do say, people know me well enough to be like, oh, he's joking. Well, not even always oh, joking, just he's joking, obviously. And even this, it's like, he's, I mean, obviously it's a joke. He's singing in a stupid little song. 
but that doesn't make it funny. I wouldn't say it's offensive. It's just not funny either. So if you have to make a disclaimer for a comedy song that's not even funny, just don't post it. That is my advice. Also, Jake Boy has 300, 311.8 thousand followers. He has three times as many followers as I have. And about f almost four times less likes than I do. I'm jealous of the boy. I am envious of Jake Novak. Actually, I don't know. No, I take that back because I'm... I feel like more than half, not, I, I know more than half of his followers are just following him to see what he does next. I'm following him because I want to see what he does next. It's been 25 days since the boy's last post. Where is he? I want more Jake Novak. But I think he might have been scared off from uh, exactly what he wanted. He wanted to be known. He wanted everybody to know his name. He wanted us to see him. He wanted us to see the boy. And once we saw the boy, the boy hid. The boy ran. The boy didn't know how to take it. But I hope the boy comes back. Because Jakey. Jakey, Jakey, Jakerson. Baby, who is Jake Novak? Will we ever know? We've only gotten a glimpse into this. We've only peeked through the doorway. Jake is just starting to crown. Jake's just starting to come out that womb. And he's going back in to hide. Jake, don't go back in. Come out to the world. Let us see you. Let us hold you. Let us hold you like the sweet baby you are. Sing us a song about another tragedy. Land of the free, home of the brave. Land of the AR-15, home of kids in the grave. I've struggled to find the words, keep the disposition sunny. I'm always trying to turn the unfunny things funny, but laughing feels wrong. Hypocrisy's rife, I gotta say something, cause you're all pro-life unless it's taken by a gunman. Nineteen more tiny heartbeats stopped in the alma mater. You force kids into the world, then condemn them to slaughter. We teach our daughters how to hide when they should be learning history. Then we're surprised when it repeats itself. It's no mystery, it's indifference. See them run when asked how to combat the madness. They don't care about your rights, they only care about their status. And they have us where they can hold us, packed in the Senate and SCOTUS. And act in bogus, hocus pocus, while we hopelessly focus on the joke that is trying to feel safe in this country. I love my home, but I don't know if we'll truly become free if we can't agree. Uncle Sam's holding a bad gun, the nation's fighting for its soul. Are we sure it ever had one? Children dying in the school. But can you tell me why? Are they not trying to change the rules? We're crying, but we're not fools. Who in their right mind hears about a horribly tragic shooting at an elementary, elementary school where so many kids lost lives and it could have been prevented? And his idea, this little sing-songy, anxious, rappy boy, is to get on here and do his little fucking Lin-Manuel Miranda like, impression. Writing a song about elementary, elementary students who were murdered days previous and just making a little silly rap about it? How disconnected from life is this guy? My initial reaction when I saw that was, well, this is insane. But also, it's been stuck in my head since then. That little chorus part was just like, Mm. Children die. Mm, that was just a little too far. I mean, all of it's too far. None of it's good. But all of it together. Everything came together perfectly to make it just a fucking... Whew. And the way he plays it up, too. The theatrics. That's one thing I don't like about like anything when people are talking about something sad or a tragedy happening or something important in general. When people play it up, the way Jake... Look, I'll just post his little face. The way he moves his little face around and waves his little finger. His facial expressions. It's, it's too theatrical. It doesn't feel genuine. Like It just feels like he's hamming it up when people die. The way he stares into the camera at the end of it. Look at that full eye contact for two seconds on the end. He can't end videos normal. He fucking, he has to stare, like, in the way he stares, too. Like, he could just stare, like, you know, a normal face. But instead, he does what? This. He does this. 
Jake, what the fuck? The laughing feels wrong line is one of the craziest lines. A song about children being murdered to say laughing feels wrong. What an astute observation, young man. I think this video is the official downfall of Jake. When the SNL video dropped, the boy was on cloud nine. What could be better? The world was talking about him. Honestly, to the point where I would imagine that everybody on SNL has probably seen the video. It probably has been sent to them by their friends, like being like, ha ha. Not in the way he was intending for it to be sent to them, but I, they probably have seen it. I would bet my bottom dollar that they've seen it. And it's just, it definitely backfired on them. Because I, I don't think Jake's getting a call anytime from Lauren Michaels. It's so tone deaf. It just shows that a misunderstanding, a lack of empathy. And in his head, I'm, I think he thought, oh, this is empathy. But the fact that the first thing he did days after the shooting was go and write a little ditty, record the song, and then record a video in this nice-ass lighting in front of a wall, like, all very, very produced. It's gross. Don't write about school shootings. That was a misstep. I don't think I don't I don't think that's what you should have done. And I think that's maybe why you're hiding. Because of, of all things, it was that. But come back to us, baby. Please. Shoot. There have been remixes made of that. And the remixes actually, they're kind of it's weird, but they're kind of good. Land of the free, home of the brave. Land of the AR-15, home of kids in the grave. Okay, this one's called Moles. I've been living single for about 10,000 days. He has a lot of songs about being a little single boy. But now I'm getting older and I'd like a change of pace. It's not because of loneliness or biologic clock. But I've got one good reason why it's time to take this sailing ship to dock. I just want someone to check my back for moles. That's the full extent of my relationship goals. I don't really if there's a hot romance for us As long as she can tell me which spots look cancerous I just want someone to check my back for moles And have with me This one's not too... I don't, it's just dumb There's no joke Not that I don't get the joke There just is no joke And I mostly only included this video for the ending because the whole joke is he just wants somebody to check him for moles. He's been single for literally ever, but he just wants somebody to make sure he doesn't have cancer. And then he ends it with that. He always ends his videos in these stupid ass ways. Okay, was that a good one or was that a good one? Dude! Ah, Just end it without being- I wouldn't call it a punchline. He ends it with just like a little like- It's like shaking your wiener off after you pee. It's just a little residual. It's just like finishing the video in like a, just a sad way. Or just 22 again. Again? The end. Put that on the mark, on the list of things you should do better. Stop s ending the videos in weird ways. You end videos in weird ways every time. But in a nice way. I don't like the way you end your videos. Love you, Jake boy. But that shit. No, no. Continuing on. Now this one might be the most important video of all because he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He did it. He spoke it into existence. He made this happen with a song called I Want to Get Cancelled. And the funny thing is, this was the second thing he ever posted. He posted it on November 22nd of 2021. Almost a year ago at this point. And the sound got removed. It was the second thing he ever posted. He didn't post it again until April 18th. And this time the sound didn't get taken down. But he did exactly what he said he wanted to do in the song. We'll watch. For years I've lived in Hollywood, hoping to become a star. 
I go on auditions and feel real good, but they're like, dude, no one knows who you are. They won't cast me unless I'm famous, but till they do, I'll still be nameless. I'll never make it in this town. But then I came up with a workaround. I want to get canceled. Then everyone will know my name. I want to get canceled. Say something bad and take all the blame. I can't get noticed for my talents. I might have better luck with malice. Canceled. It's my one way ticket to fame. Whoa, whoa. I'll start by referring to hymns as hers and saying, Man never went to the moon. It's a hoax. Then I'll graduate to tweeting racial slurs and masturbating when I'm on Zoom. Boom, boom, zoom it boom. won't be long till folks take notice. I'm the worst since our I'm last so POTUS. Bad. They're gonna wanna get me banned. But they'll be playing rotten to my plans, cause I wanna get canceled. So the industry will know who I am. Sure, I'll be hated around the world, but I'll be verified on Instagram. Mark, I'll yeah. say things that are cause for censure, and soon I'll be an influencer. Cancelled, Holly will give a damn. But will they know that I don't mean these words and I'm just trolling? I promise I'm a good guy, not a jerk or JK Rowling. Does stardom mean enough to throw my dignity away? A little bit canceled. Oh. I'll accidentally misgender a tadpole. Canceled. Oh. Not bad enough to be an asshole. I'll apologize real quick and sign my contract with Netflix when I'm canceled. I'll finally get cast in a role. Cast in a role. I'm getting. Goosebumps in like a reverse way. The crazy thing for me is that he did what he said he wanted to do. And not only that, like he's. No, yeah, he did. He finally got views. He got everybody to look at him. He got people talking. He got canceled, kind of. Not really. People want more of him, but he's just afraid now. He got what he was asking for, and it scared him away. You can't be scared of what you ask for, dude. You were pushing for this shit. The amount of work you were putting into these videos, the quality, the... Like, for someone who's just starting out putting this much effort in... You got what you wanted, man. Come back. Come back. We miss you. Mm. I just think it's kind of funny. It's a funny, it's it's a funny little juxtaposition to make this little song that's one of the longest songs he posted. And there's so much effort. There's so much editing. There's so much editing in this video. He put so much work into this video. And this is the video that kind of came true. And he's gone. He decided no. No, no. If I had to guess, I think Jake probably has a cushy office job that he does like Monday through Friday, nine to five kind of thing. I am currently editing, edit, edit it. <clears throat> I'm currently editing the video, edit it, edit it. I'm working on the video right now. And I had to say that I was wrong. Jake Novak is a dapper Dan at Disneyland. Say that's five times fast, but he is. Jake Novak is a Dapper Dan at Disneyland, and that makes so much fucking sense. Back to the video. And on the weekends, he makes these silly little videos. I think he's sticking fully to his little cushy job right now. And Jake, I'm telling you, come back. I think you could actually make it. I don't think you'll be on SNL, but I think you could go places. I think you, could, I, I think you got a place on the internet. Funny that he says luck with malice. Cause he, he didn't he didn't actually have luck with malice. He had luck with like the opposite. He tried having luck with like empathy, but it wasn't empathy. He doesn't just he just doesn't understand what empathy is. Uh the masturbating thing. Don't like the masturbating thing. Were you just trolling, Jakey boy? Was were all these songs just trolls? 
Was the shooting song a troll, or was that coming from the heart? I don't know if I could even consider this song offensive. It's just bad. It's offensively bad, and I don't like it. He might offend some people with the... He'll start with calling people the wrong pronouns. It's, 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 I guess he, he got his wish. That's the most I could say about this song. He got his wish. It happened. This one, this one I don't like. Wait, this is more than kisses? Oh, geez. Whoa, freeze. It's my first time. Don't tease me or I'm gonna burst. I'm not well versed when it comes to quench and thirst. I'm unrehearsed and in love somewhat cursed. I'm the worst in moments like these. So scared I'll be selfish, so anxious to please. It is not supposed to be like this. You on your knees thinking he's a bit sleazy. It's cheesy. I thought there'd be violins or a bouquet of roses. Something slightly more enticing than a film. And mimosas, halitosis. Do I have it? No, yes, that's your butt. You want me to grab it? Oh, I've been a nun. Now there goes my habit like Alice down the rabbit. I feel like someone knew your skin on my skin So this is love and now I know what I miss You know I could do this all day Okay, maybe not all day Oh, wow A fun little fact He showed, uh, he showed Deadpool as the movie that they'd watch or whatever. I know how his brain works now. I've watched so many. I've watched all of the Jake Novak videos. I know how he thinks. It's because there's a lot of comments of people being like, you look like a young Ryan Reynolds. All the comments I've seen that say you look like a young Ryan Reynolds, he likes them too. It says, liked by creator. Y'all gave my boy an ego. That's okay. That's okay. Another one. Another video where he ends it and just like, oh. It, it was already, I already didn't like the video. I wasn't enjoying it already. But then he ends it with that little. You know I could do this all day. Okay, maybe not all day. Oh, wow. Why? Like what, what's. If you're going to, if you're going to make. Uh, don't. Uh, it's just not good. It's obviously fake. It's not a real voice crack. And even if it was a real voice crack, like, I mean, maybe that'd be funny. I don't know. But it was very obviously not a real voice crack. He just always has to add some sort of theatrics to it. And it makes the video 20 times worse. Because I'm watching the video like... And then he does that, and I'm like... <sighs> True story. Moving on to one that I have uh, titled Greens. Please do at this. Well, since you ask, greens, greens, and nothing but greens, parsley, peppers, cabbages, and celery, asparagus, and watercress, and fiddle ferns, and lettuce, he said, all right, but it wasn't quite, cause I caught him in the autumn in my garden one night, he was robbing me, raping me, rooting through my rutabaga, raiding my arugula, and ripping up my rugby, and my champion, my favorite, I should have laid a spell on him, right there, could have turned him into stone, or a dog, or a chair, but I let him have the rampy, and had lots to spare, in return, however, I said, fair is fair, you can let me have the baby that your wife will bear, and we'll call it square, I had a brother, no, but you had a sister, but the witch refused to tell him anymore, of his sister, not even that her name was Rapunzel. I mostly included this video because of the way he starts it with greens, 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 and uh, I thought that was interesting. Also, the part where he says, uh, raping me. Why, dude? Find a different word that rhymes. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. I like my face when I first heard it. I haven't seen the musical Into the Woods. Maybe that happens. But I still wouldn't say it the way he said it, dude. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's the only reason this song's included. I had to throw it in there. This next one... This next one is just here because it makes me feel gross. Not because he says anything gross, just because of the way he does it. It literally, it gave me chills watching it, and not in a good way. It gave me bad chills. I did not like it. So, here is this. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble, you know. Ride it in my feet, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact, no slack. But luckily the seats go back. Sipping some red, red wine. 
it gives me goosebumps in like a bad way. It makes me how I, I, I can it like I can feel it like slowly seeping in the feeling of just like hopelessness. Why does this make me feel hopeless? This makes me feel alone in the world. What power does this man have? This is nightmare fuel, dude. Is this what real cringe feels like? It doesn't feel like I'm cringing. It feels like I am like cold. Scared and alone in the woods by myself. And there's Jake Novak naked and running through the woods, sweaty and covered in mud, just singing. You really have to see it. Six feet two in a cup. And it's five of them. It's five of them running at you in the woods. As I say, it's nightmare fuel. The next top comment is all dreams have meanings. My dreams. This is a nightmare. I already hate it when people make remixes of sounds on TikTok. Every single sound on TikTok gets some, uh, gets a fucking emo cover where they're just screaming the sound. My money don't jiggle, Jake. Jake makes the song in like a theater boy way, like Lin Manuel Miranda would. My money don't jiggle. And does these facial expressions and the hand movements and the editing everything everything they're just holding hands with each other and not even i wouldn't say holding hands i'd say like clenching hands like gripping at each other and like look at his face dude when he starts the red red wine part oh no and the way he ends it i forgot about that yeah no this video just makes me feel gross this one made me feel gross jake i i like you some would say I love you. But don't do this shit ever again. Don't make that face ever again. Please, I'm begging. Make your silly little content, but don't make this. I didn't like this one. I didn't like this one at all. <coughs> I'm like choking. I think Jake cursed me with his little song. Oh, well, that's all the videos I have written down. Is that really all? Me again. Hey, so uh, I found Jake Novak's website, and also he's been in a number of short films, one of which he wrote and directed. I, th none of them are like actual films. They're just, I'm guessing, friends filming little things. And there's this one too. Meme emergency. Meme emergency. Jake Novak was in a short film with Nathan Masri, founder of Garfield Eats, and it's about them solving the Israeli-Palestinian crisis. That's all. That's everything. Goodbye. To close out, I think I will read you what was supposed to be the intro that I wrote when I first started making the video, but I, I just didn't want to use it. Because a lot of it sounds more like a conclusion, but I'll read it to you now. Jake Novak, the next SNL cast member? Is he a contender? I streamed on Twitch for over an hour doing nothing but watching Jake Novak TikToks. Every single one. Digesting every lyric. And truly pondering the question that has been on everybody's mind. Who is Jake Novak? The simple answer is a theater boy. And honestly, I don't think there's a complicated answer. Jake Boy's content is very surface level. He sings about a whole variety of topics, but never with any creativity or depth. His content feels like if Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote an episode of Glee. From his facial expressions to the lyrics, even the chords that he chooses to use, feel devoid of creativity. Not to say Jake isn't creative. I think he just hasn't found his individuality as a creator yet. And that's pretty much that. Ooh, squirrel. That's a big squirrel outside. So, I guess my mood hasn't really changed on how I think of Jake's content. I still don't like it. I wouldn't say I enjoy it. It's like something I watch because I don't like it. I feel It's intriguing because it makes me feel, I don't know, not good. But I don't want him to leave. I think he's got... I think he could change up the formula and actually make it something good. I think he's got, like... I, I think he's got something there. I don't want you to give up, Jake. I want you to keep going. 
And I don't think I, my opinion does not matter. Who cares what I say about it? But I want you to keep going. And a lot of other people do too. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok so far saying they want you back. They don't want you gone. You used to make videos every single week, a song every fucking week, man. It's been a month. Come back. We need our boy Jake. I think that's it. I think that's all. I think I could put this behind me and maybe, or maybe I'll make a video when Jake makes his comeback. When Jake boy comes back around and drops a heater, I'm going to be right there to sniff it. I'm going to be right there and I'll be talking about it. And hopefully you'll be watching. Please be watching. If you want to subscribe, do it. If you don't, understandable. I have been Dalton and will continue to be Dalton. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it's D-O-L-L-T-I-N. If you already follow me on TikTok, that's cool. I also stream sometimes on Twitch. It's Dalton James. I'm on Instagram. Did I say that? It's Dalton. Not it's Dalton. It's just Dalton. Uh, fucking, I'll just put it on the screen. There it is. All right. I'm going to, I'll see y'all in the next one.